Welcome back to The Helpful Home. I'm Sunday Dawn, and on today's Tiny Tidy Tuesday, nope, nope, take two. Welcome back to The Helpful Home. I'm Sunday Dawn, and on today's Tiny Tidy, no. Welcome back to The Helpful Home, and on today's Thoughtful Thursday, that took me multiple tries. I'm not sure if I'm going to leave that in in post, but knowing me, I just might. But today is Thoughtful Thursday. It is Joy's collab from Organized with Joy. There's a couple other lovely ladies, some of them on the Tiny Tidy team, who are participating. And once a month, we do this collab. Joy does it every Thursday. But once a month, we all pop in and we give our take. It's generally something homemaking in the homemaking milieu as we all tend to do. But um, just like with my tiny tidies, she leaves it pretty open. And so this is in the homemaking milieu, but I did not film this originally as a Thoughtful Thursday. I filmed this over the course of a little bit of a difficult time I was going through. If you're not new here, you, new here, you have followed a little bit, a little bit, a lot of our content, as I say, is homemaking with a splash of sass and fun, but a little bit of it is just real life because homemaking has to keep going on while you're living real life. So I lost my birth mother last year, and for a couple of videos sprinkled in throughout the last year, you've got a little bit of that content because that's what I've been living. So I do want to preface by saying this was filmed months ago. I want to say six months ago. I'm pretty sure six months ago. So I'm doing well. I'm doing okay. Even if you watched this week's Tiny Tidy Tuesday where I tiny tidied my one third of my mother's only box she left behind when she died. Again, sometimes it gets real real. Um, I'm doing okay. That was just a little bit of closure we all needed at the end of this really difficult year that my family has been processing. But during that process, we had a couple dark moments. And also, other life still continues while you're doing that. So I also had a couple of personal losses that were pretty difficult to navigate. But I'm happy to say I'm on the other side. And so I finally feel semi-ready to let this video into the world. So here we go with my Thoughtful Thursday contribution for the week, which was not filmed this way to begin with, but just this week I felt ready to release it, be done with it. It's been filmed, edited, minor, I did minor deviations this week, but it's been pretty much done for quite a while and I just haven't been ready. I didn't feel on the other side quite enough to let it go out into the world, but it really felt like this week I was like, oh, I have a thoughtful Thursday and it's time to release my I guess I'll probably title it something like tips and trips for catching up after depression laundry. Like if you're a real girl, you've lived it. What's the first thing to go? Laundry. So um, this is coming out of a difficult time and facing the mound of laundry, facing the laundry beast. And so um, I did want to pop on and say, we're all good. We're all okay. We've come out the other side. Life is beautiful. I'm just enjoying my babies and my hubby and my grandbabies and all the good stuff. And we came out the other side of this doing really well. But this is what it looked like during and at the beginning of thinking I might be able to come out of it. So there's lots of thoughts in it. You're going to get lots of thoughts. That's why it is my Thoughtful Thursday. Also, as I said before, Thoughtful Thursday is a collaboration with Joy from Organized with Joy. Some other lovely ladies, I will put their channels below. I'm not sure if she does a playlist. If she does, I will. If not, I'll put the channels of the other lovely ladies participating in this month's Thoughtful Thursday. Go take a peek at them all. There's lots of inspo and motivation to go around. Okay, here's where we're at today. We are about to catch up on laundry, which we've been avoiding. And I have seen probably three times lately, um, depression laundry routine or depression laundry catch up inspo. And I haven't watched any of them quite honestly, because I knew this video was coming because this is what I have done with my own form of depression. I say that in quotes because it's not diagnosed and it's not something like I've dealt with my whole life. It's just literal, if I'm gonna be honest, I think I have to call it depression. 
anxiety combination, both of which I'm not just like prone to. Very situational. I've been through a lot in the last year. I have lost a lot in the last year, some sooner than later, some sooner than I realized, and I have just been processing. And obviously I have done laundry in the last year, and I've done laundry in the last month. Fortunately, there's only two of us because I don't know how often I've done laundry in the last month. Probably not often. Oh my word, I'm like actually avoiding eye contact. Can you see that I keep trying to look anywhere but at camera? Um, oh, I did it again. I've been able to keep up on the other things and tiny tidying my way through the other things. But I will say, although I have not watched one of the other videos and I'm ready to, like I'm ready to after I film mine, I just didn't want to take in any of their... I needed to do my own process and I knew this was a part of it and so I needed to process this myself. It's not that I'm above needing tips but I knew I was getting there myself and I needed to kind of come to terms with what was going on with me and how it came out in my daily life and avoidance in many different ways, avoidance of lots of things, one of which was laundry. I'll show you the situation. It's worse than it looks. Like when people say like, it's not as bad as it looks. This is the opposite. It is worse than it looks because I'm a great tidier. And so I've been keeping it at bay. I have broken not one, but two of my laundry hampers shoving more laundry in, in depression avoidance. I really, I've broken them just trying to get in another sock. <laughs> Fortunately, we have way too many clothes. My hubby has way too many clothes. He's hardly noticed. Um, although I do think he did laundry once. I I just, I don't know how I'm going to film, film this. I don't know if I'll film it real time. I don't know if I'll film it over a couple of days. I don't quite know how the process is going to go, but I know it's starting now. I'm starting to come into my own. I'm starting to accept my new situation. The good, the bad, and the ugly, mostly the good. I'm trying to embrace the good and the support that my family, my babies, my friends have poured into me. And it's making me come back to my own. Um, also finally had a little closure. Uh, no, had closure in both spaces. In both my losses, I had some closure, finally, maybe a week ago yesterday for one of them yesterday for one of them so moving on for me very much involves the closet of doom again bear in mind it's worse than it looks by so much oh uh, welcome to the helpful home if you're new here this is where we talk about real things we're just real people and we get through tiny tidies on two day tuesdays and Mighty Tidies on the other days, slash gluten-free cooking, home organization, and all of the things, generally with a little splash of sass and fun. Today, I don't know if I can call it that. Today with a big splash of humor. I don't know if I got sass and fun. Let's face it, I probably still got sass, but we'll call it humor because I don't know how fun it's gonna be. I'm still avoiding, okay, let's look. Again, it is truly so much worse than it looks. I would say that's all of the dirty laundry. Again, notice that I have literally busted. I think it's on the other side. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I've busted this one out. Busted this one out over here. And that is colored light slash delicates and rags and towels. These are heavy sweatshirts that I need to hang because like hanging clothes is the worst part of putting away. So like, why would I do that? Also, this is where like real delicates hide. Oh, can I get you in there? Like where real delicates hide. Like I need to wash them separately and hang them. And it's just growing. I should get a little basket and accept that I do that because I don't really like those put in there. But like usually it's one or two items and I toss them in on the weekend and hang them dry and they're dry by Monday. But these haven't been done in a month at all. These have been picked at, but never all the way done, and mostly not really done a whole lot. So I'm going to, I've got three baskets to fold. I, I'm serious, one of them may have needed folded for the last month, because I think I did that load. Hubby did a couple, and I'm going to dump those and also fold. 
Yeah. I, I have been, obviously, that's not all the rags and towels. I've been keeping wet laundry going, just as a general, because, like, I, I wasn't going to let that rot. I mean, I'm I'm above some things, but certainly not much. Also, can we acknowledge not matching hangers? Daughters, are you going to die? Not matching hangers. I don't allow not matching hangers, but I bought these hangers to replace all my wooden hangers just to give me more space. I love my beautiful mahogany hangers. I hate to dust them, and they literally have to be dusted. And also, I need more space because I get this area, and hubby gets all of that and all of that because he owns all of the things. Mismatching hangers. I mean, if that's not a sign of Sunday depression, I don't know what is. But let's start dumping and sorting. Where do you put a tripod for this? Like, and are these normal people problems? I just don't think so. Okay, try something else. Brutal. Worse than it looked. How's this? Ooh, backlit. We're going with it. We're going with it. We got bigger fish to fry. Okay, next I have prepped a space. I guess my step two. I'll give you my steps. Maybe it will help somebody. Um, next I have prepped a space to sort because I need a space to sort so that it can feel like it's in the process. I'm starting. This will not all get finished today. There's not a possible way to run these all through the laundry in one day, but I needed a place to fold, and now I need a place to sort that isn't in my main living area. Um, my office slash studio is usually a room I use every day, but not a room I have to use every day. So I am going to sort into piles here, start the first load so that it can be running while I start folding. I think big wins, take big wins. Like give yourself a, okay, I'm literally washing and I've started that process while I'm folding to where you have like a good chunk of, oh, here and here. I thought I had this room all the way cleaned up. Here is, I've been actually, side note, dealing with belongings of a past loved one. Um, lovely to receive, as y'all know, if you've been here a while, I, I didn't have a whole lot of photos of myself. And so a family member said, oh, I have some of your grandmother's photos. So I'm navigating those also. Did it help? I doubt it. I also can't say that I think it hurt. I was already in that reminiscing place. Can we just, for a minute, can we just... What is with those bangs? I don't even ever remember having those bangs. That was a bang catastrophe. Like, I don't have any memory. Oh, how handsome hubby looks. Look, he had hair. Why am I in a wedding dress? I'm not. I think it's like a prom dress. But wow, he should have ran at the door. That's downright near a wedding dress. Um, also, I mean, is 12 not like the worst age ever? Look at that nose. I grew into it a bit. Completely? No. I mean, I got a big honker, but I grew into it a bit. Um, but I'm going to pop these in my grandfather's suitcase, which is my memory box. Each of my girls have their own memory box where they got to keep whatever they wanted out of their bedrooms on top of schoolwork that we went through and artwork. You know... Uh, paraphernalia from vacations, etc. So all the memory boxes, I'm going to pop these in there, even though they're just going to go on top of kind of what's already organized because I'm, I've, I've peeked through these. I'm not completely ready to deal with them yet. Okay. But this is a part of the process. This is a part of the stuff that is kind of stuck me, got me stuck. And I'm going to unstick myself because I feel like I'm ready and know thyself when you're not ready. Don't do it. It's okay to take a reprieve till you feel like you're capable. Side note, my hair is looking fine. If you were from the late 80s, early 90s, tell me that is not like goals hair. Also, 
Why did she pluck her eyebrows so far apart in the middle? But like hubby, honey, sideburns, and the most awkward smile he's ever had. Engagement shoot, not fun for the dude. But dang, my hair was fly in 95. Okay, oh, I'm gonna push this chair out of the way and make room and start dumping and sorting. I may dump and sort at the same time. It might not be as satisfying as the clean laundry dump, but, but you'll see. I made some room because like it's the whole floor and that is all delicates because I just haven't been washing anything that I like wash separately and hang dry and those are gonna be a beast so I don't think I'm gonna tackle those today I think I'm gonna designate a day for delicates and like make myself a plan I can live with and work with and so today is Tuesday it's kind of tidy Tuesday I will put this week's playlist in the link in the description box below if you want to watch the tiny tidy team this week. Um, thanks girls for always joining in, but this is a mighty tidy. This is not a tiny tidy. When you're out of breath from carton laundry around, it's way too many pounds of laundry, but I'm going to have to start sorting this. And as you saw, I started by tossing in wet laundry. So rags, towels, a, a loo blanket, and now it's time to sort this. I want this sorted and looking doable before I go fold. Laundry running, dirty laundry sorted with an actual plan for when I'm going to wash it. Again, this is Tuesday. I will do rags. I think I'll throw in our sheets, towels and sheets because those are easy folders. And I will fold these. I commit to folding these as they come out because I can't get myself back to this place. Sometimes I'll give it an evening and fold it the next day, but we're gonna have to make like an actual plan. So, sorting, clean laundry, sorting, dirty laundry, starting a load, and making a plan before I sit my butt down to fold laundry, drink tea, and binge Real Housewives of New York. Because tip number three, save some guilty pleasure TV and don't let yourself watch it unless you're doing the chore. Okay, I'm on it. Okay, sorted. I will say for the record that took seven minutes. Seven minutes. I'm glad I timed it because I thought this is not going to be as big of a project as it looks once it's out of the closet. So that is a load of lights. I do have a large washer. That can be one load of lights. So I have a load of lights, a load of darks because I like to use that wool light dark that keeps things black and navy, a load of colors, uh, that might be a little big because it's so many jeans. I think I'll pop. Here's what I'll do. I'll pop the really dark jeans. There. That'll even it out. That's one large load of colors. One large load of darks because you can use that wool light dark on dark jeans. So I just have a load of each. The towels, rags, and a loo blanket are in the washer. This is all delicates. This is gonna take me a minute. This is what I'm talking about. These things take time and then they have to hang dry. I'm okay also, like they're very delicate. I like to wash them very separately. Like I like to make sure they're only with things that are very like um, in both texture and like I'm not gonna throw a sweater even though it's cream in the creams. I'm not gonna throw a sweater even though it's black in my wool light darks. So this will be several separate loads. I can probably wash my moo-moos, my Hawaii moo-moos with my swimsuits. Yeah, and these right here, man, they're so delicate. I have half a mind to dry clean these. I think they say you can wash them, but I don't wanna lose a tassel. And these are just like so delicate and lovely. These may get these may get dry cleaned. Okay, time to fold. We have sorted every piece of laundry in the home. We have dumped all the laundry. Oh, also do this, do this. 
even if something's new, if it faded from the chlorine, throw it away. Donate it. Something. Don't keep it. If it doesn't make you happy, you don't keep it. Especially while you're trying to launder your way out of a semi-mild slash moderate depression. Hide your ugly people. As I always say, hide your ugly people. Not to be confused with hide ugly people, because, like, don't hide ugly people. There's no ugly people. But hide your ugly things, people. Nobody wants to see them, least of all you. I know, Lou. You're my support dog. you supporting mama. Okay. I am going to sort this. Tip number four. I'm going to sort this into easily foldable piles. I'm putting the shirts with the shirts, the towels with the towels, the socks with the socks, the underwear with the underwear. It is all going to be separated while I fold it to save me time. And because, like I said, give yourself like big immediate wins. Give yourself big gains. Like I know once I sort this, it'll look much more manageable than the giant pile. Oh, should I do like, oh my word. I think I'm gonna go for the disgusting grabby thumbnail. You ready? You ready? Let's do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. It's clean laundry. It's clean laundry. Whew. Can we get the shot, Lou? No. No, we can't. <laughs> Horror film lighting. Horror film lighting. I kind of dig that. No. No thumbnail to be had here. Oh. Maybe I just want to lay here and use the clean laundry like a pillow. No. That's that's the old me. That's how I've been coping. Oh, Lou, but you're going to lay down. Okay. Ten minute break. But I won't allow myself Real Housewives until I sit up and start folding. Promise. Oh, we found the light, baby. We found the light. And we're gonna get one of those grabby, clickbaity, folded all the laundry thumbnails. If you wonder why people do this, it's because um, the ratio is different on video, so it's better to take your thumbnail. He's still there. It's better to take your thumbnail on video rather than how do I make it look like more laundry? I mean, like I need to make it look like more laundry. But um, it's better to get your thumbnail on video and screen grab it than to take a photo. But here we go. Let's look really sad. No, that's too bad. Okay, I won't do it. But they go on a tequila tasting in tequila, Mexico, and it goes as bad as you think. But it's so good. Okay, Real Housewives will entertain me. I thought about making myself a cup of tea, and I like don't think I'm in that vibe. I think I need to be in like the, again, tip number whatever I said. Put yourself on some Guilty Pleasure TV and sort your folding into very specific piles so that you can just move from one little pile to another. And at the end, it always looks like I'm a little rat that sat in a nest and folded all my belongings around me. But I think this will take me less time and it will take up less brain space. So this is how we're going. This is not mine. <laughs> Very safe to assume it's my daughter's. If I didn't have a daughter living here, Christopher might have had kind of a heavy evening on his hands. Miscellaneous lingerie? Not cool, man. Not cool. By the way, we're losing the light.
If you couldn't tell, my day is getting away from me. It's okay, I'm almost kaput anyway. I'll show you where I stand. I changed my mind. I'm gonna make one last push and do socks because I'm done with the folding except for the socks. I think that's why I wanna quit. Also, it's dark in here and I didn't have lights on because I was filming and, and I, I never wanna turn lights on. It's like a weird thing. My family thinks it's very weird about me, but um, I think that might be the depression speaking. So I'm gonna turn on a lamp. I'm gonna phone a friend. And I'm gonna call my Madeline and make her talk to me while I fold socks. Tip number five, use your friends and family. They don't mind. I have folded all of the piles, like I said, hope I don't make you dizzy, around me like a little nest. And I've reached my max. Here, let me flip you around. I have reached my limit for the day. I did turn on a light. Whoa, whoa, what's with these guys always? Seriously, they can't even find them. <laughs> okay, I've reached my limit, as we can tell. So has Lewis. So I already planned for that because I'm setting myself up for success. I know that I'm not gonna have a huge bandwidth for this right now while I'm just getting back in the swing of it. What do you see, Lou? So I have prepared my laundry baskets all in a row and I have folded everything, which is a huge feat, right? Like big wins, give yourself the wins. I folded everything. I sorted it, folded it. It took under an hour. I did have to call in a daughter phone chat to get through the socks because it was like a lot of socks, which is pretty overwhelming. And the worst part of folding. Am I right? So now I'm going to fill one with hubby's clean folded laundry, fill one with my clean folded laundry, and fill one with towels. That's all the further I'm going. Completely folded, folded well. I was careful to fold things nicely, spread out the wrinkles as much as I could. Yeah, I'm gonna just put them in nicely folded baskets into my new laundry room for the next three days and keep adding to them. Now I'm not going to go crazy. Like I, I, I intend to, today I intended to fold. Tomorrow I intend to put those away. The load I'm doing now, yeah, so I should be safe. I shouldn't be piling on. The load I'm doing now is towels and a loop blanket. So when I fold those, those can sit overnight. I mean, they're towels and a loop blanket. So it doesn't matter if they get wrinkly. So I will put those in the dryer. In the morning, I will fold those, which shouldn't interfere in my other folded laundry. And I can just put away all that folded laundry and allow myself another Real Housewives vacation because it was so good. I might allow myself a reunion or two. Yeah, maybe tomorrow I'll watch Real Housewife old school reunions. You know, whatever your thing is, don't judge. You've got something. Some of you watch The Bachelor. You're going to begrudge me some old lady cat fights. <laughs> okay, I shouldn't judge The Bachelor. Here I am not practicing what I preach. No judgment zone. Whatever you need to watch while you get caught up on your stuff. So putting away all my folded items neatly into the baskets, placing them in my new laundry area. Give yourself a designated area if you don't have a big laundry room. My laundry room is a pass-through. Uh, it means I don't abuse it. I don't get a laundry room full of laundry. It won't ever happen. There's no space. Um, I'm going to swap my towels to the dryer. The rest of my house looks completely lovely, cleaned up. Nobody would be any the wiser. And now my laundry situation is going and I'm already doing it. I've already started. And any laundry from tonight and tomorrow, I'm not going to put in my laundry hamper. I'm going to put it on the pile because those piles are already ready to be done. I'm just going to add hubby's work clothes from today into those piles. They can be washed tomorrow. I may be wearing this tomorrow. So they don't probably have to be washed. Another one of the pitfalls of depression. I mean, they're clean. All I did was fold laundry. So you won't be able to tell how many days of video this is because I might be in the same thing tomorrow. Know myself. Day two of the great laundry experiment. Can it bring me out of my funk? I said I'd be wearing the same clothes. 
I slept in them. So, I will be changing my clothes and washing off my old makeup that I slept in. Now, it wasn't a bad night. I got as far as I thought I would, realistically. We made a lot of headway and we're still prepped to continue our progress today. So I'm focusing on progress. Right? Progress. But I think I'd better... I'll show you what I'm looking at. I think I'd better go outside, outside for real because I'm currently faux outside. Faux outside under my Sherpa throw with my doodle looking at my fake, looking out my fake window. Here, I'll show you. Anybody else love a beautiful faux view? My puppy does. It's usually fireplace for your home, but this morning I wanted winter wonderland. And I think we have the last of the snow outside melting. Actually, I think Lou ate it all. I think he ate all the snow. Okay, Lou. Yeah, let's start this day outside looking at real snow instead of looking at faux snow. Some fresh air. A cup of coffee, some gratitude, and perspective. Change your perspective, change your life, right, Bob? Let's do it. What are you doing, bud? Okay, day two of the great laundry debacle. I can't decide what I'm gonna call this yet, but something catchy. Um, day two is going much better. I woke up uh, fighting the funk a little bit, but as I said, I've been coming more into my own. I truly waited till I was ready to put one foot in front of the other and get back into like my normal scheme of life even though I'm still pushing, like I'm at push stage. I just didn't push when I couldn't push. So tip number 762, I don't know where we're at. I'll put it right here. Um, it's okay to wait till you're ready, but no ready means that you're ready to push because you're gonna have to push a little bit. So as you saw, woke up with a little bit of funk and did have some lightness, did have some tension eased based off the fact that we've already started this debacle and I'd already put one foot in front of the other, but I still just took my cup of coffee outside with my giant chocolate labradoodle and enjoyed the last of the snow. Just sat outside, looked at our beautiful Pacific Northwest trees and had my coffee and got some fresh air. And then I came right in and got right in the shower. Like, let's just, let's wash this off of you. Got right in the shower. And before I knew it, I was like full face and makeup and a satiny blouse. One of them apples. You never know. Sometimes putting a little face on gets you going. And so what I decided was this felt good. This felt like coming back. And I decided, um, Time for nails, too. My nail lady is going to be like, where have you been? Kimmy, I'm sorry. Put me back together. So, yeah. Uh, tip number 942. Again, I'll put the real tip number there. Do something nice for yourself. Do something nice for yourself that makes you feel good. Feel pretty. Feel pampered. Even if it's just the word pampered. Whatever your vision of pampered is. If it's just a bubble bath, take a bubble bath. Uh, so what I decided was I still wanted to make progress. So I swapped out last night's towels for today's colors <coughs> right here. Actually, I'm swapping. I swapped towels. I'm popping the colors in. So we'll already have started our load for the day. And I decided to take the dry cleaning because it's right by my nail place. And plus, I like to buy Kimmy a coffee because she's lovely and I tip her in coffees. So uh, yeah, I decided to make my nail errand a laundry errand. It's okay that this goes a different way than I planned. I'm still going to get a full load done, a full load folded, the dry cleaning out. That's three piles out, and I may possibly put one load of these delicates in so I can hang them over the register before bed. So that'd be like four piles gone today, and really 
mostly all I did was do my makeup, put on a fancy blouse, and get my nails done. Make it work for you. So let me tell you how this story ends. She follows her own advice. She makes this plan work for her. She gives herself a little grace, and she lives her life in the process. She waited until she was ready to push. And then push she did, but just a little at a time. And in the meantime, she accepted love and flowers and support and healing from her friends and family. She carefully arranged the flowers that they had brought her. She enjoyed a home-cooked meal from her man. And she enjoyed the grandbabies. All of the things that brought her back to life while she continued to catch up on the life that she had been neglecting as she had been neglecting herself. So, when you're ready to push, make a space, make a plan, put one foot in front of the other. And in the meantime, live life, plant life, enjoy your families, enjoy your babies. Do the things you love that fill your heart and your life space. And always give yourself some grace. Spoiler alert, the laundry did get done. Spoiler alert, she lived her life in the meantime. And getting back to the living is what got her back to square one on her home. Thanks for being here, and I hope to see you next time on The Helpful Home.